Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Suikoden 5. Let's go... Excuse me. Let's go talk to this uh, red-haired guy after we talk to these guards. You honor me, your highness, but I'm afraid I can't talk while on duty. Everyone who's anyone is in Stormfist right now. The royal family, of course. But also all the famous nobility. Sweet. Sounds like we can take everyone out at once. I mean, um... Yeah. Uh, hi, buddy. Uh, what's your problem? Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Milady, please marry me! Uh, what? Uh, Lion, what's this about? <laughs> Nobody asked you, Knave. I had planned to en enter the sacred games and win Lim's hand in marriage, but I wasn't even allowed to compete. But I'd gladly make you my life, my wife, my lady. <laughs> Let's be together forever. Let's become one, my lady. Uh, uh, I, I don't get it, but it doesn't matter. The answer is no. Uh, I see where you're coming from, my lady. If the answer is no, because you don't get it, will the answer be yes? If you did get it, is that right? My name's Gavia. Come back here once you get it, my lady. I'll be waiting. Okay, but don't hold your breath on me getting it. <laughs> what the hell was with that portrait, anyway? I'm so furious. How does the fact that I was born in Armus have anything to do with my love for Lim? Oh, what cruel fate. How could she not see that my feelings are sincere? Um, yeah. I wish I could grow up faster. When I grow up, I'm going to be a general, and I'm going to mow down any enemies that stand in my way. I don't think generals actually do that, kid. Spectators come from all over, even other countries. Stepping up security is a must. In Stormfist, we keep the public orderly and safe. We take pride in that. Now I know that anyone can take part in the championship, but should that really extend to any old foreigner? <laughs> Not to disrespect Lord Farad, Prince. Uh, forgive me. Uh, actually, yeah, I'd say that, uh, yes. Any old foreigner should be able to. Gazelle's grown up to be such a wonderful man. His mother must be smiling down from heaven. As we're keepers of the peace, we must ask that you avoid unneeded conflict. Uh, I'll try. Wonder how Stormfist is doing, eh, Leon? Your Highness, welcome to Stormfist. What do you think of the place? It's not a bad little town, is it? We don't often have the pleasure of welcoming royalty here. Make yourself at home and have a good look around. Okay. Does that include looking in people's houses? It does indeed. Feels like only yesterday we held the last games. Has it really been 16 years? Well, that's uh, how old I am, so yes? So here's the uh, training shop. That's magic training. Which we don't have uh, skill points for. We've got an inn here. Hi, how can I help you? Oh my. Uh huh. They're dressed like. And don't tell me the prince. Y you know you just broke those cups. Oh no, I don't believe it. Oh my. What do I do? What do I do? Oh. Treat us like any old customers? You, uh... Do you need something like a pill of some sort? Y your Highness, p please m make yourself at home. Okay. The royal family is so lucky, always surrounded by those gorgeous Queen's Knights. I don't think I can talk to that guy behind her. I'll protect you from danger. I'll be your knight in shining armor. Oh. My hair is here to stay. My old man's still got a full head of the stuff, see? 
So is yours, eh, your highness? Uh, you, you know that that comes from your mother, right? So, uh, what about your grandfather on your mother's side? C can I talk to this guy? Thank you. You may think it's not worrying, not worth worrying about, but we'll, it'll be too late to do anything when the time comes. What are you talking about? Hey, watch out! You're drunk! Oh god, he's drunk! Goddamn flamey. Uh. <laughs> Great. Drunk people. The top of my head gets cold these days. What to do, what to do. Oh, you guys are talking about baldness. I wish more people had guts like yours, especially with so many losers around, bullying women and causing trouble. So I told that odd guy, old guy to stop causing so much trouble. I was a bit nervous about how he'd react, mind you. Interesting stories going on. Let's uh, just head upstairs, see if there's anything up here. Ah, some more people to talk to. Hello. Well, I don't usually work here, but they needed extra help today because so many people are here for the games. Wait, you're you're innkeeper though. Oh, your highness, you look to you took me by surprise. The room's not made up yet. Is there something I can help you with? No, I'm okay. Thanks so. Anything over here? Not really. You know, there was some comment about a brown-haired woman, and she does have a portrait. Ah, I'm sure it's not... not related. Hey, you. I'm on patrol at the moment. If you spot anything unusual, please report to me. Well, you know, the, uh, the girl in the inn, uh, she did kind of drop stuff when, uh, I came in. Why can I not get past these, uh, plants? And, and why did I just get slow down there? Gazelle's bound to win. I can easily see him as the commander of the Queen's Knights. No one else comes close. Normally, we're free of those people from the new part of town, but now their kind has come here for the games. It's all a terrible fuss. Peasants running rampant through the streets as if they belong here. Get out. Did I go in here? I did. Ooh, a treasure chest. Obtain medicine. Yay. Okay, apparently there's nothing there. Can't get into that little building. Can't get through this clear gap in the bushes. Alright, let's see. Can we go down this way? We can. Hello. Lord Godwin's amazing. Even with his wife gone, and that must have been devastating, he's still there for us. Oops. He's much something or other. He's much more of a man than I am, that's for sure. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. Hello? Lord Godwin's been all alone ever since his wife died. I wonder if he'll ever remarry. Probably not. Well, let's go in here. Those armist barbarians killed my son in the war eight years ago. Your Highness, please tell me, why won't the Queen just smite them down? It's what they deserve. We have a peace treaty. I'm pretty sure we have a peace treaty. And you know, you can't smite down an entire country just because your son, who was a soldier, died in battle. Doesn't work that way, and there's nothing up here. I think you need to stop listening to uh, the Godwins. I'd do anything for Gazelle. I'd lay down my life if it came to that. Okay, we'll be happy to help you along with that. Why is there a plant blocking my uh, way into that house? It's just rude. Won't it be wonderful if Gazelle wins, your highness? He's such an incredible man. People always get a bit crazy at these big events. But these are the sacred games, a holy rite. This is no time for these common fools to be making trouble. 
Oh, we can train right here. Uh, we don't have the skill points for it. And got a Mega Medicine. I don't think there's anything over here. It's always that much tougher to keep the peace when, we're, when we've got this sort of crowd on our hands. Still, it's our job. Ah, hello there, your highness. I heard you'd come to have a look around. Did you know that this used to be the capital of Felena? Ah, even though the capital's been moved now, the efforts of the Godwin family have kept this place thriving. Anyway, please take your time and look around as much as you wish. Well, I don't know, this place looks boarded up. Ooh, another treasure chest. Bandage! We got a bandage. Can anyone wear that? Oh yeah, that's, that's the button for the uh, menus. Oh, well that's crap. Well, that's just sorted though. Huh, well, getting uh, an event of some sort. Hey, Prince. I'm turning left at the next corner. Follow me. Uh, okay. How come? Never mind that. Just do as Leon says. You'll see why. Weep! All right. <laughs> you're, you're not doing a very good job of sneaking with that unique outfit. <laughs> Suspicious kid! You may be quick, but it takes more than that to be a good spy. <gasps> what? I... Who are you? How did you know this was the prince? Maybe he was just following us to pick our pockets. I, um, look, I'm sorry, this isn't what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like. No, no, no. What's your name? Prince. Oh, come on. Hey, come on. He doesn't look like a spy or an assassin. He's got to have a good explanation for this. Plus, I'm pretty sure the two of you could kick his Thank ass. You, sir. My name is Shun. How'd you get here from the Forgotten Realms? Is that a white tattoo? Yes, sir. As you can see, I'm a gladiator. How'd they let you I'm out? Sorry, I was following you. But there's something I really have to tell you, Prince. Doesn't sound like something we should talk about on the street. Let's look for some place more private. Okay. Don't forget to pick up your hood. Shun joined the party. Oh, well, here's a cutscene. Sorry to drag you so far out of the out of the way. I find these quarters relaxing, perfect for this sort of chat. Those are actually kind of nice-looking uh, uh, quarters. So let's chat. Would you care for a drink? Don't bother, I'm not staying long. So, why are, you, why are you entering the sacred games? What are you thinking? Hmm, now how to take that? Have you qualms about your ex-fiancé wanting to marry your niece? Don't play dumb with me. Nobody cares about an engagement that was broken off eight years ago. Your man, Kildrick, what, right? I'm sure you got your money's worth, but if he has to go up against that Barrow Boys fighter... He won't exactly be the favorite, now will he? You're playing some steep odds here, Gazelle. Am I? Victory, defeat, it's all a matter of chance. You never quite know what'll happen in the end. In other words, you've uh, rigged the match, gotcha. Otherwise, what would be the point of holding the games at all? You've always had that smile, but you didn't always hide behind it. You've really changed, you know. You used to be this nice, innocent boy. Well, I've since learned about that being a nice, innocent boy doesn't get you what you want. Gazelle. Do you have any idea how much I idolized you back then? Our engagement was a political ploy, I knew that. But I was happy with it. With you. When your sister ascended the throne and broke it off, were you at all disappointed, or was it only me? I regret that we did to you, I really do, to this day. But even so, in some ways I think my sister made the right decision. 
Well, I suppose it might have put us in an awkward position as far as the throne was concerned. All the fighting back before our mother's coronation. It was terrible. So terrible that my sister and I vowed that it would never happen again. Didn't you lose your mother? Sorry. That's all right. The conflict forged Felena and the Godwins into towers of strength. My mother would have wanted that. Are you sure? Gazelle, you don't really believe that, do you? Of course I do. Hmm. So we got Shun in the party. Um, actually in the party, interestingly enough. Uh, can we actually... Unequip him? He has slave garb and sandals. Sure, why not? Let's take his stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we need to look for some place uh, quiet to talk. Not sure if we can... Well, yeah, we can go to the new part of town, so uh, that might be the place to go. We haven't been there yet. Making sure no one suspicious is allowed in. The security here is absolutely watertight. Oh. Rare finds. Gauntlets. I do not have the money for that. Physical defense plus 10, and no one can wear them anyway. Uh, let's see. Leather hat. Leather coat. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Uh, let's see. Full helmet. Silk cape. Uh, rugged leather, uh, chain mail, should be chain armor, or mail armor, I should say, uh, iron gloves, boots, iron boots, no one can wear, and that's about it. Alright, I'm not gonna buy anything. Long ago, the demi-human races used to come watch the sacred games, but I don't see any this time. It only makes sense, I guess. After all, Marskel is, re is the resident lord here. And... I take it he's also a racist. I'm on patrol at the moment. We're doing our utmost to ensure that this town is safe and secure. Why does this place seem like there's a... dust in the air or something? We're not in a desert area. We've got some mud brick buildings here, though. Your Highness, it's, it's your Highness the Prince, isn't it? I'm under orders to ensure that you remain in town, Your Highness. I'm afraid I can't let you through. Oh. Well, I actually didn't mean to try and leave anyway, but... Alright, let's go uh, down here, see if there's anything to uh, see. Cross the bridge, that's the old part of town. Been there forever. Around here, this is all new. Over there is where you'll find all the rich folk and nobles and such. Here's where they put us commoners. The folks over yonder bridge are always turning up their noses at us. But why let you let that get you down? Well, that's good philosophy. Nothing to uh, find. There's a lot of mud brick buildings here. You know we can't play tag while the sacred games are on. You can't even run around. Well, that's pretty terrible. Oh, how much longer are these stupid sacred games going on for? Yeah, I kind of know how you feel. Uh, so item shop. I can buy medicine, mega medicine, sacrificial jizo, antitoxins, bone salts, escape scrolls, a bandage, uh, physical defense plus one, a jewel necklace, magic plus one, Defense ring, physical defense plus one. Well, they're not that bad. Uh, I don't think I'll get any of them, though. And we have nothing to appraise. You know, this really looks like a house, not a shop.
place where you can relax. How about the inn? Oh, I actually did not even think about that. Um, I guess we'll go do that after we explore around here a bit. Oh, we can get right through here. I've heard talk that some of the young folk are so devoted to Godwin that they've gone a bit on a bit of a rampage. Make sure you stay out of harm's way, your highness. Well, oh, thank you for your concern. Over the past ten years or so, the atmosphere in town has completely changed. Our first loyalty has always been to the Queen, but after Her Majesty, it was Lord Godwin we would look to. But it never used to be this strict. Now everyone... everything they say goes. Anyone who opposes them is branded a traitor. They were so much more relaxed back then. I don't know why things had to change. Um, please don't tell anyone what I said to you. Ah, don't worry, I won't. If the people from the old part of town found, found out, I don't know what they might do. I'll keep your secrets safe. Don't worry. Aha! Treasure chest. Leather hat. Do I actually have anyone worth equipping that on? Not equipping it on Shun. Actually, yes. Yeah, better than the bandana. I guess we'll head over this way, see what's down here. Hello. Can't Gazelle win without getting married? It's not fair. Not to him, not to me! Uh, what? Oh, Gazelle, so brave, so handsome. You, uh... Hi, doggy. I want to stop fantasizing. Oh, hello. Uh, so we can, uh, sharpen weapons. Um... Not really gonna sharpen up uh, Georg's weapon simply because uh, he's so much higher level that he doesn't really need it. And you know he can he can he'll be fine for quite a while without uh, needing weapon sharpening. And I'd rather keep the money around. I'm not gonna have him for as many battles as Kyle, for example. Meow. Hi, kitty. Aha! Obtained a bracelet! How good is that? Physical defense plus two. Oops. Not good for anyone right now. Keep all that stuff around. Oh, hey, journeyman crystal. Well, that's handy. How are we doing on. Ah, we got a little bit of time. Actually, I don't need to save right now. Wow, there's a rune shop. Um, well, nothing really worth buying at the moment. How come Gazelle's got someone else to fight for him? Everybody knows he can do it himself. Maybe he just felt like he'd ruin the games if he stole the show. Let's face it, he could beat the hell out of that loser from the Barrows family without breaking a sweat even. Well, it could definitely be, uh, Urim, that's for sure. Your Highness, I trust everything you've inspected has been in order. Uh, actually, I am kind of nervous about how, uh, uh, restrictive, uh, speech has become around here. Hey, little girl. Hey, Mr. Highness. When I grow up, can we get married so I can be a princess? Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. I think Lion, uh, Leon might have something to say about that. Well, I thought there might be a few more people to talk to, but uh, that is not the case. So, let's take a risk and uh, go to the end. Without saving it first. How can I help you? Oh, Prince! Um, w welcome, welcome! We'd like a room. Do you have anything available? Y yes of course This way, please. You actually have something available right now?
Is, is that really true? Yes. You saw where they keep us, right? Right, Prince? That dungeon? Since a couple of days ago, we've been hearing these voices in the middle of the night. None of us know what what they're saying or where they're coming from. And the voices have an Armist accent, eh? That's right. Hmm. Prince, what should we do? Um... Well, first we should save state. Maybe it was just your imagination. What, did all of us imagine it? I'm telling the truth here. I believe you. We both know that know what they do to escaped gladiators. You wouldn't try it if you didn't have a reason. Right. Uh, okay, so... Well, we should check it out. R right. Her Majesty and the Princess will be coming soon. What if it's Armas, Armas spies or assassins or something? But here's the question. Why did you come to the Prince? Huh? Well, I assume you have a master. And rather than just report the voices to him, you took the huge risk of coming all the way out here. Well, that's, um... Look, you know how they banned cruelty to gladiators? Thanks for that, by the way. Uh, yeah, I guess you're kind of welcome. But the nobles aren't happy about it. My master sure isn't. If something happened now with the gladiators, I'm sure they'd use it as an excuse to abuse us again. So you'd rather the nobles didn't find out? Exactly! Before they changed things, a gladiator younger than me had his eyes put out. Just for being too strong. Actually, hold on a second. Let me, uh... Let me check something. Um... Oh, yeah. So, he is actually talking about, uh... Morgan, from Suikoden 1. Um... Didn't come up much, but uh, he was a, a blind, uh... Former gladiator. I don't remember how they described it. So we could in one wasn't very good about actually describing the backgrounds of people. Um, so in a lot of cases, there really wasn't much detail about them. But yeah, he's talking about Morgan. Um, and even after that, he was still pretty, pretty good in the ring. So they saw, sold him off to some foreign country. They packed him on a ship in a box like livestock. None of us know where he is now. If he's even alive. Ah, oh, don't worry, he'll pop up in ten years. That's never gonna happen to my friends again. Shun. Seriously, though, why, why are you here and not in the Forgotten Realms, you know, with the, the Shun Empire? We'll look into it quietly. Th thank you very much. I knew you would say that, Prince. When you came down and saw us, you got so upset about our condition. That's when I knew you'd help us. Hey, we're just lucky to... You let us know. Thanks. Now, how exactly do we go about looking into this? Without getting Lord Godwin's attention, mind you. Oh, I know. We could just sneak back along the passage. I used to sneak out. It goes straight back into the arena. Problem solved. Alright, kid. Don't let anyone see you. Lay low. We'll come back and get you out. Get you when we're ready. Y yes sir Garrick, what do you mean when we're ready? We're missing someone, and if we leave her out of this, she'll get pretty cranky. Oh, right! Shun left the party. What's up, Shun? Oh, Prince, are you ready now? Um, we need a little more time. Alright, but we should bo go before it gets dark. Yeah, we need to go get sea leads. And, uh, probably about time to end the episode anyway. Uh... Yeah, in just a few seconds. Oh, your highness, um, was that person you were with before a, a gladiator? What? It's a secret? Oh, I understand completely. I won't tell a soul. In girl, huh? She looks more than a girl. All right, let's go ahead and save our game, and uh, in the next episode, we'll go get uh, sea leads. See you then, everyone.